bedroom. Alrighty, so it is Saturday morning and we are moving apartments on Monday morning. I've got just two days to pack up basically this entire flat. Beth has been here for the last two days packing up and then I'm gonna spend Saturday and Sunday packing up before we move on Monday morning. But don't worry, these very, very painful hours and hours and hours of us packing up boxes will be like under a minute for you guys. So, <laughs> but yeah, we are moving out of here because our landlord has decided to sell this beautiful flat that we've been in for the last four years now. Completely fair enough, but was a bit stressful when we had to try and find somewhere to move into right before we were getting married, but managed to do it. So yeah, very excited to be moving. Actually a really super exciting kind of fresh start for us as a married couple. So yeah, I'm gonna just crack on now and get packing because I need to get like so much done in the next 48 hours. Ah. It's wild how much stuff you accumulate in four years living in a place and how long it takes to pack up just a two bedroom apartment with two people over four days. Also, very quick shout out makes me realize how long I've been doing this. If you watched the video that Beth and I released when we moved into this flat four years ago, and although this move was kind of forced on us, it's actually super exciting now to be moving to a new space. Having a change of scene is, I think, really going to be good for us. Plus, the other positive of spending four days packing is an opportunity for me to ruthlessly add to our charity shop donations. And as you'll clearly see, Beth and I aren't exactly minimalist. We most certainly cannot fit all our stuff into one or even five suitcases but I do try to keep the stuff we own to stuff we actually use. So this is a really good opportunity to go through, get rid of any stuff like we haven't used at all in the last six months. Not sure if it makes me weird, but finding this very strangely satisfying, if a little painful. It's final document signing time, plus pre match coffee, and then we'll go and get the new keys. <laughs> New bathroom. Oh, it smells like fresh paint. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So cool. Pretty nice. Oh man, this office is so much bigger than the old one. Whoa, it's massive. Lid space. Happy days. Storage. Bedroom. space. Bed here. En suite. Oh, yes. And it's so nice and clean. And like, yeah, so much better than when we saw it before. Phew. Ah, oh, epic. Nice. Ooh. The very first thing we move in, obviously. Bertie boy. Oh boy. <laughs> So Beth and I are renting our new flat and we decided not to buy because we kind of just had so much going on in life and also actually financially we're going to be spending less in rent than we were in interest on a mortgage. So at this point in life we chose for the flexibility of continuing to rent but crucially we really were very conscious of not stretching ourselves and making sure we're really actually only spending around 30 to 40 percent of our monthly income on those needs. So that meant that we were very disciplined in finding a place where the rent was actually only £60 a month more than our old place. As you earn more, the temptation is definitely there to spend more on rent each month, but staying well within your means, really trying to make sure that you don't inflate your lifestyle as you earn more is one of the keys to saving lots of money each month. I would say today has been a big day. Uh, we're just about to go over to our old flat and say goodbye and make sure we've got everything. But I'll give you a quick little tour here. So I'm currently in the bedroom and first thing to say, new bed is built, which uh, my brother and Beth stepdad built, which they've done a great job on. It's a king and you see it fits pretty nicely in there. We need loads more furniture. So this place is completely unfurnished, uh, whereas our old place was like partially furnished that so came with bedside tables and stuff. Next up, we've got the office in here. So this is an awesome space, so much bigger than our old office. And now I've got loads of natural light for filming videos from these two windows and a really big space for all my camera stuff, plus my desk, plus Beth's desk. And into the kitchen. And again, like really big, 
room way bigger than our old kitchen was. So we got loads more cupboard space, space for loads more stuff, built in microwave and oven, which is pretty cool. And <laughs> last of all, living room. Still some work to be done in here and our loads of stuff to unbox. Both a bit emotional. <laughs> And it's kind of crazy how far we've come, right? Gone from trainee lawyer to fully lawyer. You've gone from some lowly position in TV to bam, production manager. Bathroom, fully empty. There I am. Hello. Oh, man, more importantly, where <laughs> now you've seen like the new office, you see how tiny this room is. And it kind of looked quite big, like on camera when I was filming but best desk was right here and I was like crammed in just here. It's a very little bedroom, so definitely upgraded, but kind of wild how much time we've spent in this little room over the last four years. And last but not least, the bedroom. Thumbnail <sighs> spot. And that brown chair right there will forever hold a special place in my heart. Many videos filmed in this chair, including my most popular video ever, Why Your Life Is So Boring. So yeah, this is actually it. The landlord is coming over right now to come and get the keys. He's gonna be here in a couple of minutes. Probably not gonna film that bit, so we're gonna give away the keys and then we'll be leaving here for the last time. Crazy. So crazy. Uh, on to new exciting things. Yeah. As a married, Couple. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's crazy. I love the new place. Yeah, I no, really it's love awesome. The new place. It's awesome. It's just very strange. Yeah. This is the only place we've ever lived together. <laughs> yeah. So for four years, it's it like a long really odd. time at this stage in your yeah. life. Yeah. So, hey. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do this. So we are making pretty good progress. I'm feeling pretty shattered after lifting all that stuff up those stairs. I think Beth and I are gonna sleep very well tonight. That said, we now live pretty close to a very noisy main road. And although I've lived in London for four years, I still haven't got entirely used to the constant noise. And so I want to, slight tangent, but tell you about a little bit of tech that helps me sleep like a log night after night. It's these bad boys. It is the Soundcore Sleep A20 earbuds. And Soundcore are very excitingly sponsoring today's video. So the Sleep A20s have become my secret weapon when it comes to getting a good night's sleep in noisy places with their four point noise masking system. The first thing you need to know is that the Sleep A20s are the only earbuds I've ever had that are actually comfortable when you're sleeping on your side. They're made of this really soft material, have these air wings that stick out the side that distribute pressure through your ear and are perfectly shaped to mean they fit really comfortably in my ear. They block noise super effectively and the Soundcore app comes with a load of preset sounds to soothe you to sleep or you can create your own by combining three different sounds. So my favorite is a combination of leaves falling, wind and air conditioning, bizarrely. Or you can also just listen to something over your phone like you would with other headphones. I have this sound set to turn off an hour after I go to bed, although you can have it on all night if you want. And I'm then woken up by a soothing alarm set in the Soundcore app. The Sleep O20s also last for about 14 hours in sleep mode before you need to put them back in the case, and the case will charge them for 80 hours in sleep mode. Other than comfort, my favorite feature of these is the ability to track your sleep, as I really have never got on with wearing watches or other trackers overnight. But these are so comfortable, I want to wear them anyway, and the Sleep A20 uses a MEM sensor and real-time clock to track when you roll over, what positions you're sleeping in, and your sleep duration. So yeah, if you want to get yourself some Soundcore Sleep A20s for the best night's sleep ever, head through the links in the description to get the earbuds from Amazon or directly from Soundcore. Good morning, everyone. Day two in the house. Liam's left for work. It is just me in here today. It feels very strange. <laughs> I'm feeling super tired. We did so much work yesterday, but there's still a lot to do today. So let's do it.
to lunchtime and the kitchen is done. Yay. So, so, so happy. We have a little tea, coffee station. Everything's in the cupboards. The fridge is now sorted and stocked, ready for lunch. Everything is tidy, put away. Little personal touches added. One room down, literally the rest of the house to go. Time for room two. Okay, room two, living room is done. And now on to, hmm, I think I'm gonna go bathrooms. They need a bit of a clean, I've kind of been putting it off, but I think it's time. Let's do it. Okay, so I am working from home today for the first time because we've got a guy coming to sort like a couple of bits. The window in the bedroom won't open and now need to sort out this office space a little bit this morning before I get to work so that I have like actually a desk to work from with two screens and everything. Uh, this is not going to be my new desk setup. I'm going to have a, uh, an updated desk setup at some point in the next hopefully like three to six months. But for now, we're just going back to the old desk setup. So yeah, going to go set that up right now. Morning, it is Thursday. Liam is in the office, so it's just me today. We've had a busy morning already. The plumber has been, a guy to fix the windows has been. They arrived at the same time, it was carnage. And I also have quite a few bits from Amazon arriving today. I feel like today's gonna be quite a good day. I have a good feeling about today. I'm really hoping that by the end of it, it feels a bit more like a functioning space. <laughs> Let's get to it. Just had another Amazon delivery of some fairy lights, which I'm gonna put in the fireplace. It's time to attack bathroom number two. Let's do it. It's Friday and I'm working from home. Fortunately, behind the camera, we have the glamorous Bethany Porrit and she's gonna be building this bad boy. Was that quite weird? <laughs> Possibly. A bit. <laughs> anyway, crack on, I've got work to do. <laughs> So where did we buy all of our new furniture from? The main two places we found it were Wayfair and Dusk. So Dusk, we got a new bed and some bedside tables and also the chest of drawers in our bedroom. So the bed was around 300 pounds for a king size Ottoman. They have loads of deals on, on Dusk all the time. Would really strongly recommend that. The drawers, I would say the quality of them isn't great. We spent around 400 pounds on the two bedside tables plus the chest of drawers. Quality isn't amazing, but they do look really good. So overall pretty happy. The one thing I would say is Dusk customer service is pretty rubbish. I've had quite a bad experience trying to get this stuff delivered. Anyway, a decent product quality, I would say for cost. Then Beth and I absolutely love Wayfair. Ikea is great for some of the staples, but we don't like everything we have to look the same, that kind of like Ikea look to furniture. And so we found a ton of different items, including the cool new TV stand, bookshelf, lamp, um, all on Wayfair from different suppliers, all at a very reasonable price. So, struggling a little this morning, Beth and I went out for a few casual drinks with uh, Beth's friends last night and had a great time, but both feeling slightly worse for wear this morning. So progress has been pretty slow on the move, but I would say the living room is coming together very nicely. Wendy over here, if I'm Bob, uh, has been doing an excellent job on building flat pack furniture. She's now pro and yeah, it's looking, looking pretty good. So we're gonna just crack on. We've tidied up a little bit and uh, gonna try and continue unboxing, getting stuff sorted today.
Cheers. Cheers. To our new home. And yeah, thanks so much for coming along on this house move journey with us. We're not quite done, but very, very happy with the progress we've made in our gorgeous new home together. So yeah, I look forward to speaking again very, very soon. I'll maybe come back with some more apartment tour style videos and also I'm gonna do a smart home setup at some point, I reckon, because I've got a whole load, much to Beth's disdain, <laughs> of new <laughs> smart home stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, so yeah, speak again soon. Cheers. Cheers.